Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So a bit of a different style video. Today we're going to be jumping into the Shopify store that you can see started in October. And since I've been able to scale to just over $15,000 in sales. What's really interesting about this store as well. So if we just take a look at the 30th, we did a little bit over 1K. On the 31st, we did a little bit over 1K. But then on the 1st, we did $1,500. What's really interesting is that the Facebook ad spend was exactly the same for each and every one of these days. The only difference being is at the end of the month, I actually saw switch something off and it resulted in this massive spike in sales and it's something I've never actually tried or done before or expected to happen and I want to explain that to you and show you that later on in the video. So my plan for this video is in the first half to take you through kind of like the weekly sales, break them down, explain why we had a massive ramp up here, explain these different fluctuations and actually show you the conversion rate and how expensive this product is to give you kind of like some rough kind of comparison against your own stores and then we'll actually jump into the Facebook ad account. I'll show you the testing strategy and talk you through the the strategies that we used to actually scale our store up to these sorts of numbers. Before we jump into that though, two very small things to ask from you. If you enjoy these style of videos and you wanna see more videos like this, uh, make sure you let me know by dropping a like on this video. And of course, if you wanna see more of my content, please consider dropping a subscribe as well. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So between the first and the sixth, we can see no sales whatsoever. In fact, if we blow this up a little bit, just to make it a bit more clearer. So first to the sixth, no sales whatsoever. And if we go seventh to the 13th, we can see between the 7th and the 12th, sales were nothing to kind of write home about. This was because this was the testing phase. I like to run my tests for at least five days because then it gives the pixel a chance to kind of settle in, optimize, and give us like a true representation of how well that ad set will perform. Once we run the test, I then like to take the best performing ad sets and apply my scaling strategies to them. And this is the reason then for the massive spike in sales between $80 per day all the way up to nearly 600 if we now fast forward from the 14th, in fact, let's go up to today, sorry. We can see from the 14th onwards, things were going really well. Sales started to kind of keep on increasing. And then on the 18th, we had a massive drop off from $640 down to 400. Now the reason being for this is because the scaling strategies I used were pretty aggressive. And whilst you, it's, it's quite easy to get carried away trying to achieve really big numbers in terms of sales, but what you should always focus on, and primarily in my opinion, is making good profits. So even though $640 on paper looks really good, it wasn't actually very profitable. So I decided to make some tweaks, kind of kill off the things that weren't working, which is why we see this kind of dip in sales down to 400. As always, when I make some changes it can affect and obviously skew the ad set so I like to let things run for another sort of four to five days which will explain these different fluctuations this is completely normal by the way especially if you're spending kind of smaller budgets but after that things start to kind of settle down bed in start to optimize and results were pretty consistent up until the 30th where we actually hit that benchmark number of a thousand dollars per day now though let's jump into the analytics and I can show you the conversion rates over the course of the month and for the different days so today so far we're on $320 sales, which is really good. We're actually on par um, comparatively to yesterday. So we should be in for another $1,500 day. If we take a look at the last seven days and apply this, we can see nearly 7K in sales with a 3.82% conversion rate, which in my opinion is pretty decent considering our average order value is nearly $45. So if we have a look at the individual breakdowns for the last couple of days, so let's go for yesterday and apply this. We had our best conversion rate so far at 5%. Before we take a look at the day before, just keep in mind that number here. So 668 store sessions. If we go back to the day before and apply this, we can see the store sessions is pretty much the same. Um, only 40 different give or take, but the conversion rate was 1% less, which can be the difference where was the difference between nearly $500 in sales, i.e. an extra 30%. Now, the reason being for this that I believe because it's the only change I made was at the end of the month, I turned off our upsell offer. So I was running an upsell offer alongside with this product. It was only $15. It was really cheap. I tried it at 15. I tried it at 20. And no matter what, nobody would buy it. So it was at that point, I decided to switch it off altogether, let people just go straight through to the checkout and then that was when we had our best day ever of doing 
doing nearly fifth of just over sorry fifteen hundred dollars in sales so the lesson to be learned here is if you have an upsell offer and it isn't converting very well then try it for a week maybe two weeks of no upsell offers whatsoever and see how that affects things for you and so with that being said let's take a look inside the ad manager for this account so these are the four active campaigns in which we've used purely just for this actual store and for this actual product um, and if we jump into this campaign here these are all the different ad sets that we did for testing purposes so what i'd like to do is run a test in one specific campaign and whatever ad sets continue to perform well i will always let them run so rule number one with facebook in my opinion is if an ad set is performing well and it's making you a profit don't touch it just leave it which is why at the top we can see the two original best performing ad sets are still running and we can see that also the ones that got me the best results too so 18 dollars per purchase and 20 dollars per purchase just to draw your attention to these two ad sets here so we can see this one actually got 14 purchases and this one got 34 but if we look at the cost per purchase we can see it's super expensive and paying this much for me just wasn't profitable and this actually goes back to that original point i mentioned earlier on in the video whilst it can be tempting because they're bringing in a lot of purchases if they're not profitable you have to take all emotion out of it and just kill them off right away so at the top we have our two best performing ad sets that we ran from the testing phase these have been profitable since day one hence why i've kept them running and even though the delivery says learning they're still profitable so to me i'm still just going to let them run for as long as possible as long as they consistently are profitable if we take a look at the cpc the cost per link click and the click through rate the link click through rate sorry the in and around that kind of benchmark numbers of what i like to aim for or what i like to see in an ad set so anywhere sort of under a dollar we've got 76 cents and just over one dollar and then we've got in and around two percent for the link click through rate which is what i'd like to see as well if we go back to the original ad sets these three ad sets here which i'm highlighting now we can see that each of them has different daily budgets this is because instead of going from naught to say 200 dollars per day like this top one i like to test things first before kind of jumping into footed or committing too much so first i went to 100 dollars daily and it worked then i went to 170 dollars daily and it worked and then I went up to $200 daily and that's working as well a couple of things worth mentioning here which you may have noticed already so number one is the budgets these top three which are the scaling methods they're all CBO campaigns I love to use CBOs for scaling but in my opinion there's no place for them when it comes to testing and the next thing you may have noticed is how expensive this cost per purchase is all you have to keep in mind is since the iOS 14 rollout these won't be true figures for how much it's cost you to acquire a customer to illustrate this if we change the dates and go for so let's go for yesterday and then if we go back to all campaigns and have a look for how many purchases were actually reported we can see that only 24 purchases were reported if we go back into our Shopify account, let's go to home and let's go to yesterday, we can see that we actually had 34 orders. So there was 10 orders that weren't reported and therefore recorded in our Facebook ad account. This is also true and something you have to keep in mind is if you scroll across to the ROAS numbers and also the purchase conversion value, we can see that the total purchase conversion value was nearly half of what our actual real total purchase conversion value was and we can also look at the ROAS too so this bottom one which was the testing one which has those two best performers even though some of the purchases may not have been recorded it's still achieving a 2.59 this third one is getting 1.67 this second one is getting 2.22 and the top one is only getting 0.83 so what you have to do in this instance is just take it with a pinch of salt make sure that you're comparing the overall numbers from Shopify against the overall numbers which can't be skewed by the OS 14 rollout on Facebook. And so with that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. There's loads more I could talk about in terms of how I found the product and what the store looks like. Perhaps if you guys wanna see a follow on in part two, just let me know down in the comment section below. If you wanna get access to the specific step-by-step -step strategies that I used to achieve the results and find this product, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy Clubhouse. It's not your typical course. It costs less than a meal for two. It has over 150 original premium, super in-depth tutorials that you can follow along at your own pace. And it also contains tried and tested proven strategies like I've just demonstrated in this video. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.